Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another sort of Let's Play European Tiles 4. We are Savory Savoy, slash Italy over here. And, uh, yeah, we've gotten pretty big. What is the hostile siege? Oh, right, we've got some rebels going on over there. We're heading that direction. Everything is good. So, I was doing some reading, because I had to remind myself about the mechanics here. Is it? Oh, birthplace of the revolution. Yeah. Um, we can dismantle the HRE if we siege the capital of all the electors in the HRE. Which it's possible we've done that before. I think that's what we're going to try. We're already ramping up to attack over here, right? A truce map mode. Seven years. Yeah, unless I, I truce break. I have done that last time. Hmm. I have to siege the capital of all non-independent electors. If I happen to have one allied or vassalized, then... I don't need to siege them out, but that's not really something that's likely to happen. I'm gonna unpause here. Um, oh, what's the other thing? Oh, lose points or get this. Um, it's just two provinces. But I don't really know, like, until the end of the game, how much more admin power do we really need? Well, we can finish this. Oh, yeah, speaking of the government reform. Okay, let's let's do this. Speaking of government reforms, I was reminded we do have a building that decreases the statewide governing cost. We could spam out a bunch of those. Now, because it's more effective on provinces with paper, glass, or gems. Um, I wonder if you can only have one per state? And these guys... Oh, but it takes up the manufactory slot. I'm not really planning more manufactories, so I guess that also includes the um, the territory. They're not as expensive, though. But maybe we'll go and slap some down. Hell, maybe we'll slap down a bunch, especially... Um, oh, okay. I think one of the paper places went away when I clicked one. I think it is one per state. Uh, where was it? it it's best in... Paper, glass, or gems. Let's do those first, then, and then we'll just plop down some extras. Not that the um, the overextension or the aggressive expansion penalties that you get from from being above your limit are a problem. There is an increased coring cost, though, and so taking care of that would be maybe nice. Do we have any more paper, glass? Okay, there's glass there. And these are, yeah, definitely overseas. A little more glass there. Um, <clears throat> it's spam down some more. I'll prioritize places that have the most slots. That'll leave some things open. And thin out some of these other states. Okay, well, let's get that running anyway. <clears throat> and maybe we'll save a few points. I suspect we'll still be well over our governing capacity, which is fine. But if we can reduce the core creation cost, to be nice. None of the other things are really a bother. I mean, the stability cost modifier is certainly something. Legitimacy questioned. Lose some random legitimacy. That's annoying, but not actually a big deal. We are way overextended, so obviously there's going to be some negative events that are happening as a result of that. You are just standing here. Was that always the plan? I suppose you wouldn't be overextended if there wasn't a bunch of dudes crossing through here, so we'll leave you there. That's going to be okay. We do have some rebels brewing. Um, that's fine. Only if there was, like, some little island rebels somewhere that were starting to pop up, that would be a priority to maybe go and smack them down. But I think we're okay. So are we really just in a holding pattern until we get the truce lifted? Unless I want a truce break. I don't have to start anything with Great Britain. I might, I could start something just to make sure they can't join the coalition train, but it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, if I'm going to do truce breaky things, I'll probably wait until I've got a bunch of admin power stored up, which we don't really have. Doing that, yeah, the separatist sentiment is annoying. Are you not... I'm not going there. Someone else going there? Like, is that what you think? But that's not what's happening. So I'm just going to send you back and do that. Uh, yeah, more separatist stuff. Cabinet of Curiosities. Lose some money, gain advantageous and prestige, which we don't need. Get a free church and loyalty, which we don't really need. I mean, 200 ducats isn't anything. I guess the innovativeness will save us some points, and that might be worthwhile. You're here, and we don't, we don't have anyone hanging out over here? Really? Okay, well, let's do some of this. 
That was our rebellion, our unrest. See, we have some in Northern Africa as well. We don't have one here either. Although maybe what will happen after we clear this, I might just park this one down here because we've got some provinces and I'll have you do Iberia and North Africa at the same time. Mm, I don't really care if people like me or not. I, you know what? Make more goods rather than trade power. I don't think it really matters much one way or another for us. Maybe Russia could take care of that for us. That would be swell. Oh, ah, there was someone that was already on his way over here. I don't really care what the burgers think of me. Grab you and send you down here. I'll take Diplo Rep. Not that it really matters. Well, no, I guess I'll take trade efficiency then. Not that I really need more money. I think our rate's fine too. Let's do that. I guess I could have done that before taking an advisor. We will take the next level. Because why not? And then we'll be done on ideas. And it'll give us a 25% boost to our governing capacity. It'll be interesting to see the numbers. We're at 3,500 and 2,400 currently. So we'll see how it goes. That is a lot of money to gain mercantilism. Um, or, you know, we'll just upset one of the... Of oh, course, okay. Like, how many rebels did I just get? Um, we'll just upset one of the estates and that's going to be okay. Done, done, done. Conversions can be done as well, which seems like a swell idea. Although, hold on. Uh, let me cancel those for a sec. Because since we're still limited on governing capacity, we're going to add some territory, do some trade zones in a few different places. I think you're probably okay, as are you. Nothing changed over there. Constantinople could use a little something something. You can use that. Is there anything over here? Here? No. Boost and trade node little over here might as well I think that's yeah none none over there okay so now if there's anything left to convert we'll do that French Septus risen up in Orlena where we do have some troops nearby and they're gonna go and smack that excellent uh what is next up here Armenian separatists that should also be okay let them pop and then we'll deal with them then Pickle reps okay over there and you're moving back over there to patrol that has been stepped on. Oh, lovely. You, oh, you need to be told to move here. Uh, detach and move to accelerate things. And I don't want you spreading more separatism over here. Is that all of our cores? Uh, technically there's one left in Mosul. Okay, that's fine. spread isn't really going to matter anymore because we're done, right? We've gotten the last one for 100%. Yeah. Okay, Mosul. That's the that was the last core. It was delayed because of the occupation. And you're going to meet up over here. And then as soon as you're done, we're going to send you back over there as well. Okay, reoccupied there. You're just chilling here being attritioned. Um... Yeah, let's get you let's get you up over here because we are going to be fighting against Germany probably is the next thing. You're done with that, so you're gonna move to there. You are just chilling over here and could probably use a conform instruction. We're well below our force limit. Yes, we are. We've got a little bit of manpower to spare. Let's go ahead and do one of those. Get some more cannons. Uh this guy, this diplomat, was busy sucking up to my vassals, but that's not really a thing. Um, because, or they're maxed out rather. Maybe we'll send you to allies. Just to make sure that everything's okay there. Speaking of, Canada, we've lost you and we're- Oh, we can get you back. Excellent. They broke the alliance at some point. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get that bad boy back. Can't marry you, but we can have some more friends. And that's gonna be okay. Alright, still looking to restart some things over here. We did need to take a beat to restabilize our nation. But now I'm a little- I'm a little itchy. A little itchy to start some stuff. Um, because we do have to rewar quite a few people over here too. The end of the game is gonna be pretty pretty intense. Um 95, 1800, 97. So do we need Corson? I think we might have taken everything we need from you. Mm, no, that is untrue. Basra. 
three more years still, but that would be the next thing to chain. Although we don't actually have the ability to walk to you quite yet. Unless these guys will let us walk through them, which seems a little bit unlikely. Oh, hello. <clears throat> guys, how do you feel about a truce break against various German nations here? Although, if we're going to do it, we really want, um, we wanna, really want to get into a war that will affect as many people as possible. Well, we'll pull in quite a few. I don't know if that's all the electors, though. It'll be kind of a pain in the ass to check. And I don't want to have to do multiple truce breaks, because we have to hold all of the capitals at the same time. They can be in separate wars, but I don't necessarily want to truce break multiple wars. I mean, once we're at minus six... Okay. Um, once we're at minus six stability, we can't lose anymore. But every time you start a truce break war, you also get a bunch of... Um, uh, there, you get a bunch of, um, war exhaustion, <clears throat> so that's no good. So, my fleets, break off the transports. Are these heavier transports? They are. Oh. Drop you, grab you as well. Meet up over here real quick. Um, actually, maybe we will bring the transports, because maybe we will actually transport some extra units into Great Britain. <clears throat> okay. Um, this actually works out pretty well, because, um, because this way, Great Britain won't be joining the coalition, because we're going to have a new truce timer with them. We elected Austria. Too bad, it would save us, well, it wouldn't save us anything, because we still want to dismantle the HRE, but it would speed up some of our mission completion. Drop you off in there. I mean, they ha do have some troops over here, but let's go siege out Northumberland, because that'll give us the ability to move around here. And we'll interfere with their ability to move around here. But we don't need anything in this war. We're just actually happy to have a new, a fresh new truce timer with Great Britain. While we wait for a little bit of time to advance for the rest of our nation. I mean, the manpower recharging is going to be nice for some of these big wars. Like... There's still some some benefit. It's not like we're completely twiddling our thumbs. There's some benefit to waiting. So, you guys have landed. So I'm just going to break off the transports and the rest of these ships. I will go and tell you to hunt enemy fleets over here. Because I'm not so scared of fighting the British Navy anymore. That's not a fantastic uh, admiral, but he'll have to do. Um, professionalism versus tradition... I don't really care. They've grouped up here. They're going to get attritioned a lot. We've got a level 8 fort for them to bash through. So that's kind of nice. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to chill adjacent to the fort we're going to siege here. Which we're totally going to do. So. British, Canadian. Canadian British Imperial War. Okay. And our war score is hold the capital, which we are doing for Canada. You're welcome, Canada. Won the Siege of Montgomery. Well, that was really quick. Uh, what we really want to do then is we want to try to catch this guy. Maybe what I should do is group up and set up for some force march. Let's just get one big stack and see if we can catch. Oh, these are hills, actually. I'd be fine with starting the battle in the hills. Especially, this guy's a little out of the way. So we'll start here. We'll have a slight numbers advantage. We'll have a terrain advantage as well. Um, let's grab this general, because he's insane. And yeah, we'll jump in here. We'll have the numbers advantage and the terrain advantage. Oh, and they're not even going to be able to reinforce before the battle ends. We're nearly capped on Diplo power. Let me keep force marching. We're going to... See if we can figure out wherever the heck this guy is. He's going. Uh, probably fine. Still on this, if these guys start causing any trouble inside my territory. 
could go... Oh, you don't actually cover this area down below. Well, let's do that in case these Separatists are trying to do separate things in my own territory, which would be unacceptable. All right, back over here, we are trying to chase you down. <clears throat> Looks like we are going to catch this guy. And then the white flagged ones are going somewhere as well. Oh, did they actually stop here? Are we fighting the broken army? Oh man, that's fantastic. That did turn out to be a little harder than expected. Uh, I'm going to turn off the Force March so we can get our reinforcements properly. Um, I don't know where they're going to run to. We'll just slowly walk to the north and see what, what what's what over there. Uh, so Canada fighting the 13 colonies. There's need. Let me make sure if you've got any damage, go ahead and repair yourself. <clears throat> Let's make sure you're all right. Um, oh. Force March to try to catch these guys again. Boom. Here. Oh, they separate pieced out the creek. And that's another stack wipe over there against the British. We are going to complete our administrative ideas, which will give us a discount to the tech, and also give us the extra governing capacity. And we are still working on discounting our governing uh, cost in some of our places. But still, we went from 2,400 to just over 3,000 over here from completing the administrative ideas, which are kind of going to be a big help. Um, I'm really not looking for anything here. I don't think I'm going to want a separate piece <clears throat> because I want to just build up the, the trust and everything with Canada and, more, and have them owe me maximum favors to make sure that they will join in potential offensive wars later on. Uh, we don't need to sit here and get attrition like this. We may as well just split and start doing some carpet siege. Stop them from spawning units over here. We have no intention of going overseas. We've got our ships that are still looking around, trying to boop things. You never did get the job here of rebel bashing through there and some of these places start moving good excellent <clears throat> sometimes they don't i don't know why probably because someone else is is flagging themselves is going to smash some rebels but um you have, that's interesting you have too many cannons not enough infantry and we are capped on diplo power and we've got nothing going on over here um i'll raise mercantilism just you know to do something I wonder if, come January, if we might be able to uh, get the tech. So I'm going to get you to do that. And then... Got nine extra cannons. I might just start another army. We've got plenty of force limit left to play with. Uh, not exactly. Maybe I'll just get you to merge into one of the existing armies then. We'll have some extra cannons in one. Um, but, I mean, still still within the force. The, the, um, the combat width. So... They aren't going to go to waste. In fact, ideally for maximum punch, I should have my back line always completely filled with cannons. Boom, boom, boom. And I move out a whole bunch over here. Oh, right. I forgot there's a, the fort in Desmond. Okay, we'll get that. 18% war score currently. Uh, we've got the ticking war score as well. And Canada should be going to town over here, which is nice to see. Boom, boom, boom. And there was that rebellion pop-up, but I think it's somewhere where we already have someone patrolling. Let's go there. Let's go there, that's fine. You do one of those. You come here and here. Um, You guys... Oh, there's... They have rebuilt their stack. Hold on. May have spread a little too thin here. We'll just uh, we'll just work to regroup this army in a second. You're here. It looks like they're going south, not not to stop me in Ireland. I'll just hang out in Ulster here because there'd be a straight crossing and a terrain penalty if they decide to come this way. But I think they're mostly hunting my guys in the south. Oh, let's let's go ahead and regroup. Um, not you, because you're about to complete it. Yeah, everyone else actually. 
get over here. Not you. Okay, they're trying to desiege that, which will go pretty quickly because, of course, it's an AI place, so they didn't build much of a fort. Split a little bit more up. If we have to resiege, it's not a big deal. Boom, boom. Okay. <clears throat> We've got you. We can do this. Marsh, they would have the train prop with the penalty, so we might actually... We might actually go for it. Um, unless the siege pops right over here. Make sure not to lock in case they succeed. Yeah, of course. I mean, of course they will. Why? Why would anything else happen? This is the AI. They have to win every siege way fast. All right. Admittedly, you know, it's one of those, um, one of those biases, you know, confirmation biases whenever you see it happen. But it does feel like we've gotten, whoa, stop. We've gotten uh, some very unfair outcomes with sieges in the past. Um, I would like to catch you. I guess wherever we're going to catch you, we'll probably have a train penalty. But I can just wait for more of my troops to, uh, to group up, I suppose. Board, you're going to stay there and just siege that out. That's going to be fine. Um, boom, boom. He's not going to attack me. That's going to be okay. Well, what I'll do maybe is I'll go and I'll re-siege this because I can. And we'll use that still as a group up point. And the siege is still going to go really fast. Just move over to Cork for a sec. Oh! Where the hell are you guys? I don't want to lift this whole siege. Um, wow. Yeah, it is taking us a while to get there. A lot of walking through the desert, as it turns out. Okay, good. You're there. Now, go back to regrouping over here. That's going to be okay. You're done over there as well. We'll get you to come back in this direction. And we'll just go and catch this thing. Of course, I mean, we're not going to win this siege as fast as they are. Why would we ever do that? Just sit here and get attritioned like mad. Come on, this tick for sure, right? There you go, thank you. Part of me was thinking, oh, maybe I should just um, spend to breach the walls. Alright. Catch these guys. Smash. And move south. What do we at? 44% war score, that's great. Um, I may as well... Oh, I did mark some provinces of interest. I'm going to flag a few more. Because, you know, maybe maybe Canada will decide to give me some land. Oh, uh, no, we've got Ayrshire already. That's going to be fine. Right, we'll just we'll just flag something like that for now. Um, that is actually slightly annoying. Up, oh, march. Clearly heading over here, so we'll try to intercept you. We'll lose a couple of thousand people. Oh, well. That's a price I'm willing to pay. Some of you may die. That's a price I'm willing to pay. Or catching the rest of the stack and obliterating it. Excellent. Turn off the force march. That's going to be fine. Split you. Look at you, which is great. Let's go ahead and just spread out through the south here. That, like that, like that. And... Boom. Go, prevent you from spawning more guys, and we'll move into Scotland, carpet siege that as well, and call it a day! Well, that's going to be a swell little effort here. Again, we're not really looking for anything over here, but keeping Canada on our side is going to be convenient. Um, it is January, we do not have enough to tech up here. No. And actually, another year won't do it, it'll still be over a thousand. Um, I could just do some random development, maybe. And that's without, um, I did, oh, I did run the edict. I'm running the edicts everywhere. They give me more manpower. So that's good. So we're not going to have the, uh, the manpower, um, or sorry, the development cost decrease thing. But I don't think I really care that much. Um, sort by cost and yeah, some of these places with the green, that's a little cheaper. We'll just go ahead and burn some of these points in there. Something like that. Okay. Get a little bit more production. We'll get a little bit more money out of it. 
you're just chilling here. I'll tell you what, why don't you put, put, put here, 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 and there. I don't want to split them too small because there might still be some another army recruiting over there. They might have gotten mercs or something. It's entirely possible. But overall, take care of this real quick. Yeah, we're sending one right there. That, and then the rest of these guys get to, I don't know, group up in London. That's going to be okay. Same thing with you. Um, money, lose stuff. National unrest until the death. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be really valuable to run. Next one, Serbian separatists. That's okay. We've got some people in position to handle that. So that's not going to be a problem. Yeah, in one year, this truce over here with Corson is going to be up. Out of curiosity, who are you allied with? You are allied with Koilik. Yeah, all right. So we can we can war through these guys. So we will get in position. When does it expire? Exactly. May. All right. So a little over a year. Get there. I might still start moving some. Well, we're going to get huge amounts of attrition, but it's going to take you forever to get here anyway. Go ahead and start walking. I think that's going to be fine. Uh, da, 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 da. We've done that. So here. Here. Oh, and they've got their fleet still buzzing around. Where's our fleet? And we'd set some repairs, but we also set some auto movement. I'm going to tell you to come over here by hand, please. Those guys. And yeah, we'll just move up and be ready to jump onto the various aisles. Don't think they've got enough of a fleet for us to actually be nervous about anything anymore. Surrender there. So I can send some troops to there. And there, because they're two separate provinces. Once they get there, we'll just move over here to control the strait to Orkney. As we got nothing else to do. But in a few months, we will. All right, yeah, we're one year away from, from go back to our wartime. Uh, I think you can go into the sea, actually. March across to there. And yeah, we'll let those ships exit and everything. Um, repair some damaged ones. And this transport as well. We're going to get the transport out over here. We're still sort of sacrificing our galleys, but I'm fine with that. Boom, boom, boom. So you guys are done. So I'll uh, I'll get you to group up down here as well. For this to finish, I mean, there's a little island over here, but I don't think I'm going to bother sieging that. Oh, yeah, a couple of heavies in there. But well, we're going to regroup the fleet and then move a bunch of units around in a second regardless. Lamb, you get ejected. Okay, so all troops, everyone come down to London. Um, the hell else just got selected? Maybe the ones in the north over here, north of France. Okay. Do that. Boop this fleet some more, hopefully. Excellent. You're going to go and dock yourself over here. Um... I guess that's probably fine. All right, let's get everyone down over here and call that good enough. And then what I'll probably do is load some guys onto boats and get them ready for the upcoming war. I think sounds okay. You are going to move down to here. Um, this stack is also going to move down over here. And we'll be ready to just flow in. Still got about a year to wait. I think there's still going to be a little bit of sitting around and getting some attrition. But uh, ah, they're, big, they're big boys. They'll deal with it. Alright, fleet still here for now. The Gru. Interesting name for a flagship. Bunch of money, bunch of admin. Let's take the admin, actually. Do this. I'm going to put you up. Uh, get you onto a boat. Like so. And the boat is going to land... I guess here. That should be okay. And the tech here is... Oh, it's the Advin tech. And we're not ahead, actually. So, yeah, I don't think there's any reason to wait on that one. We've got the discount from completing our ideas and everything. Next level will be a bunch more governing capacity, which might still have some value for us. 
or not quite conformed, so let's do that. We'll build a couple of random units to do this. We'll want to keep a stack over here still because there's a chance that anywhere that we're just occupying is going to have some rebellion. 65% war score with Canada. They're holding 13 colonies. I mean, presumably this is their actual goal. They've got all this sieged out, all this sieged out. I suspect they'll peace out at some point. We still get ticking war score because of the capital, but I don't think they're interested in taking it. Good separate piece out, but I'm still happy to have these. Um, I, I do still want to build up the relationship with Canada so that they're available for more significant wars. We want to keep them as an ally so that they can hopefully just keep North America a little under control. If we find ourselves in war against Florida or something, they might be able to help Minty Mexico still being sieged out. Never, They've never been able to build up a proper force to fight back against things. Probably doesn't help that they're, they're somewhat non-contiguous, which isn't great. State houses are coming in, so we still have our cost, which is still fixed right now. So 3587. So that'll be the thing that drops when it comes here, and it'll be interesting to see where that goes. Serbian separatists are chilling out. A few more separatists brewing in a few places. We have so much anti frickin um, unrest modifiers going on right now. That's amazing. Is that? Yeah, I probably need to grab that later. I think I knew that. I know that we're not done with the, uh, well, I was going to say the Ottomans, the, the Turkish. I think we're done with the Turks up here. Yeah, no, I think, um, there might be one more problem. No, I think we do need to grab Tolku still. That's true. I have to remember to do that the next war. Because the next war with the Ottomans is supposed to be the last war with the Ottomans. Whether or not that works out, we'll see. May is coming up. It's right around the corner here. We're going to be ready to declare war on these guys, which should bring in Kora Coin Loot, which I need. And we should be able to finish it fairly quickly. That's the hope. The hope is to finish this as quickly as possible. Clareware, War, Imperialism, they're coming in. That's good. So, what we want is... Can I get here? Yeah. Not through... Not unless I take a really dumb route, so we're not going to do that. We've also lost a general, so we'll see about getting you set up shortly as well. Right over here, I'm going to roll you into that. That's not too bad. Make your way over here. And... Let me just check. What's our ruler situation? I mean, he's old enough, although there'd be some internal stuff. I think I'll just roll another actual general here. Boom. Hey, not too shabby. Can I... I can get there. Oh, right there. Because oh, it's occupied by Korra Coin Loot. Um, maybe I don't care about uh, that, actually. Just move into the territory, generally speaking. We're doing that and that. When those two finish sieging that, they'll go to these two forts, which is going to be great. We can also look at doing some separate pieces and things as we do this. Uh, fleet's chilling here, which is still fine. I don't think we've got anything we need to do, and this actually keeps them in a good position to guard stuff. I could send out my light ships, but our trade power is just phenomenal, even without our light ships doing anything. You're over here. I'm going to actually... You don't need an, a general... I'm going to put you on this just to get the symbol there. We're going to have to probably manually direct you to deal with rebellion that happens inside of the occupied territory. But for now, that just, you know, gives me something to confirm over here that my armies are busy. It's not one that's idle over here in the actual front line of fighting. Siege is going to go really fast. Of course, we don't get that tick, though. What about this one? Nope. Why would we get those? That's crazy talk. Um, We can get the odd. Perfect. That's going to be there too, which is going to be excellent. Okay, good. We can siege out some more stuff. This tick, for sure. Her? Oh, down here. Yeah, okay, I don't care. Right, cars. Hop over here. Oh, right, because of the, um, the mountains. Like, that is still some weird pathing. What's going on with that? Now, we are in a war with these guys over here, which we might need to occupy just for war score. I'm not actually caring about taking anything. But... For war score, it would be nice. Are you going to get the tick this time? Come on. Thank you. Come over here. Okay. You're doing that. You're going to get ready to move into Yazd. This one going to pop? It is going to pop. Just run right to here. Focusing on the forts. Getting that war score. Um, Our war goal is their capital is over here so we still have a ways to go before we take the ticking war score i mean we'd like to boop some of the armies too but they're out of the way right now so we may as well just go straight for the forts 
And the nice thing is, if they want to siege the forts, then they're going to be sitting ducks for a little while for us to catch them. Sherbet is done. Can I reach? Oh, I can. All right, let's do that. I know that's not the capital, but I mean, this fort's probably going to be blocking things. Um, and this will center the map in the center. I'll also change the map mode. The points, is that how far it's going to pop another thing? I don't remember if there's anything I can do for this. Unless they are stopped, they will spread their ideas to nearby provinces and incite. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. I mean, so far it hasn't been an issue. I mean, we don't have a looming disaster. But, like, I'm concerned. Is this revolution? Oh, for stability is less than two. We have Because we have the spread of revolutions, we're the most powerful nation. Yeah, so if our stability ever drops too low, yeah, we need to keep banking our admin. We're at three right now, and it's less than two, so like, two's fine. We've got we've got a hell of a buffer right now, but yeah, let's keep an eye on things. You should be able to reach the capital. Okay, it's a bit of a derpy path, but you will do that. You're going there, which is all good and fine. Mm, I mean, I'm capped on prestige. I've got the money. Either way, they would get the influence. So this gives them the influence and loyalty. Let's do that. I'm not sure... What more we can get? Ah, that's not so bad. Okay, you're done over here. I think we're going to try to send you over here, which is still fine. On that siege, let's keep moving forward. Yep, okay, we can. Good. But they've got some troops still buzzing around down here. Slightly out of sight. Oh, I've got nothing to worry about. I and mean, again, if they want to fight me, like, just come at me. I'm totally okay with this. All of our merchants are actually merchanting, which is nice to see. Both fleet. Oh, those are some more three-deckers being built. Well, let's uh, have you merge up over here. I think we're well and above the strongest navy in the world now. Um, yeah. Great Britain's down to 80 heavy ships, and we've got over 200. We've got the most ships. We're, we're not even half of the force limit. I've built so many of the force limit buildings, and we've just stacked on so many modifiers. Um, that is... First of all... Catch this little baby stack. And then we're going to swing back over here. Actually, you're going to go here. I would like to fight them in the mountains. Ooh, they're force marching. You might be reinforcing over here. Um, okay, that's a lot of dudes they've got. But we're about to win this one, and we're not currently sitting in any sort of train penalty thing. They did reinforce, actually, and that's going to cause some issues. They have more morale than I do? Seriously. Wow. I got manpower recovery speed. I will run this. My policies I might want to run right now. really need any of the naval stuff. Okay. So, I mean, here they're running away, plus we would be the defender in the mountains. There we go. We are fighting some of them. So, that, these guys did get beat up, which is unfortunate. We've got another army over here, and that one over there. I mean, it's not actually a problem. Wait here. I don't really want to start a fight there, just in case they're able to collapse in heavy. So I'm just going to keep my guys a little closer together. I didn't actually expect them to be able to do anything against me. Luckily, we've sieged quite a few mountain forts, so we've got that going for us. Great Britain has disputed succession. Um, Become Protestant, lose manpower, lose diplo power. We can just power. We do kind of need our manpower, so. End up here. Horse march. I know we're attacking the mountains, but should be able to obliterate these guys. Unless, unless their big army has somehow gotten back over here and is hitting in that fog, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Go and take this, which I was going to say, 
I don't think they're going to want to start a fight. Boom, done. Are they not? Okay, we'll catch him in front of And yeah, these are probably going to be another stack wipe, which is great. None of this chasing around, none of them rebuilding anything. Okay. Um, I know they still have quite a bit of an army, but I think for now what we can probably do is go back to plan. Siege out some enemy fortresses. This one's going to be done shortly as well. Um, you are just chilling over here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll bring you closer to the front as well. That siege is done. We can move you in. So I can even start looking, I think... We've got those two covered. This is a little far away. I might just keep you in the area rather than send you to start sieging the next thing. 76% with Great Britain. Canada hasn't pieced out yet. Don't know what they're waiting for. They might be feeling comfortable enough to just accrue um, all of the all of the ticking war score. Uh, we'll take the innovation. I don't really caring about the mercantile. And having too much of it could lead to some issues with some of our vassals. Not that I'm really letting that dominate my decision, though. I, do I just want to piece out here? Because we actually are about to start the next war. You know, that might be fine. Uh, they're on, Hold on, I can't right now, because they're occupying some parts of Turkey. If they end up piecing out and taking this, that would be really not good for me. Yours. Wait. Oh, okay. Hmm. October. I mean, we're still a year away. I need to take that. Although, if it's not contiguous, would they? I know they might. interesting if I could pause and stop their war at this point. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, you're doing that. Okay, we can probably start moving forward, actually. We've got we've got another dude here who can do it as well. Uh, I'll just put you behind it for now. That's going to be okay. Uh, I started with these guys. Out of curiosity, there's no way we can vassalize them, right? I'm sure we can't, but I just wanted to double check. They're, they're way too big. Hmm. I would peace out now, but I'm worried they're going to take some territory from Turkey. I guess our truce timer won't be that long. Now that I'm thinking about it, we actually might be okay. I literally have to take one province from you. But yeah, if you eat more, you're not going to eat all of it and it'll still be okay. Uh, all right. Although I have to reach it as well, which is kind of maybe annoying. I take that. We have nothing to take. Alright, so you guys change of plans. Well, actually, I'm still going to get you to siege those two because that's going to be okay. These two over here, I'm going to get you to start working on this stuff. And up into here. So we still have to wait for a little bit longer. Hopefully this war will wrap itself up. What are we looking at? Yeah, it's only minus 26. It's not that much. Um, okay, we're going to wrap it up here for the stream. I'm not entirely sure where we want to go from this. But I do know I want to start the war with the HRE. And I'm, I'm totally fine with it being one giant war. Because it'll be easier, because I won't have to worry about not being in a war with the right person. But the truce with everyone is going to be expiring, so it's going to be okay. Alright, folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.